just had this welder in from the scrapyard so I'm going to do a quick video on how they work, what's inside them and how to test them and all that but this video is just going to be about how they work so basically when you pull your trigger on your MIG just make sure it ain't plugged in yet, it ain't plugged in this is your main positive that goes up to your trigger switch comes back down and it goes to this board so when you pull your trigger it tri signals this board relay to turn on the power to the trans turn on the power to the transformer and it sets the motor going when the motor's going obviously this has got all cogs and the gearbox in it it turns this wheel which moves your wire out at the correct speed so you set the speed that's obviously a potentiometer on that board so this, this board basically connects the primary winding works the motor, sets the speed and that's about all that does so after you press the trigger it connects the primary side and the primary side is got four tappings on it four tappings on this one and they go into the switch configuration so you got what power one and two and then min and max I've tested this and it's about 19 volts on the lowest and 32 volts on the highest something like that so that's all that does just controls the power going through the primary winding or the current going through the primary winding which then sets the voltage on the output side so basically your power comes here this is your incoming mains power goes to this first on and off switch which is a double pole switch the neutral loops up and the power the three powers go up, three wires go up which connects in this board when you pull the trigger which then sends the power down here to this brown wire and you select either setting one or two which controls the amount of voltage going to the amount of current going through this primary coil primary winding of the transformer obviously it generates an AC current in this side which is between 17 and 30 volts AC which it passes into this rectifier as you can see you can see all the diodes and there you can test each one of them individually and the output from this from this wire here and I think this wire here basically one the positive side the red side goes to the gun on this one so that provides the power to the tip of the gun via the uh, welding wire and the neutral side here goes up here into this choke and the choke gets rid of any excess AC current and smooths the DC and it limits the current as well so I think that does a few jobs there's a thermal cutout on here as well I thought about that so if this overheats this thermal cutout will cut power to the primary side so that's a possible problem that takes its power from the board the fan which keeps everything cool so they, are, they seem pretty complicated but they ain't that bad so basically you pull the trigger this board connects the 230 volts together and it drives the motor for the for the uh, wire feed the potentiometer controls the wire speed when this connects it sends voltage via these switches they can be set for maximum and high uh, maximum and low through the primary coil the secondary coil then generates an AC voltage which is rectified to DC via this lot which all can be tested this is a main weak point 
and then the DC voltage goes through to either the gun, which is one end of the circuit, and this through this coil that then goes to fire this lead here to the earth clamp. And that is about it really. The main things to go wrong are these switches, the motor, the boards can go wrong, thermal cutout, open circuit or short to earth on the transformer and the choke or the diodes go on your rectifier. So that's about it.